What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the Wine and Jaden channel. Here we go again with another unboxing here. Uh, before I get into the unboxing, please be sure to click the subscribe button and comment and uh, like this video, please. All right, you see, it's in plastic because when it was delivered, it was raining outside. And uh, this is something that FedEx does that UPS does not do. I've had packages get totally soaked outside from UPS, but FedEx, they will put it in plastic. All right. Let's see, it's a little wet right there still. All right, now let's get into this unboxing. Jordan 11 Retro size 14. Normally, I would say on the video that these are for sale, but they've already sold. Anyway, let's get into this. I'm surprised they just came in this regular box like this. Now, I don't remember when these originally came out when I was a kid. If they came in this box, like they thought they came in a different box, so maybe they did come in this box. All right, engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletics from around the world. All right. Hmm. All right, this is cool. Air Jordan 11. The Air Jordan 11 is one of the most iconic silhouettes in the history of sneakers. That is true. This season, Jordan brand celebrates this model by delivering detailed craftsmanship. Detailed craftsmanship honoring MJ's first triple crown run, league MVP, all-star MVP, finals MVP. This instant classic will leave you saying, it's got to be the shoes. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Yes, I do remember these as a kid. Yeah. All right, got your carbon fly fiber plate here. Now you can see it throughout the rest of the uh, midsole here of the shoe. Of course, you got your gummy red sole. You got your basic hard black rubber sole right there. Here you go, you got the white midsole. No, that was like foam, a little foamy. It's not like that soft cush line foam. But uh, the one thing I did hate about these as a kid is that this white would get so dirty and it was so hard to clean while the rest of the shoe was clean, you know? But here we go here. You got the patent leather. Very nice. Here you go. Get a little close-ups here. What's this? Go with the jump man. They go with the two three. Yeah, it's very good craftsmanship. You know, sometimes I get some of these retros and you look like crap. This one looks really, really good. This is leather. Got your patent leather here. You have your nylon mesh. Here. It's your tongue. That is your short tongue, though. Inside it says Nike Air. Too bad. Let's get this one. See if there's any differences with this. <clears throat> All right, no, we got the jump man there. Very good craftsmanship. That is an iconic symbol right there. Yes, it is. 
you know, I would do it on foot. Um, review on these. Let's see how they let you know how they feel. But like I said, these already sold. So I actually wasn't going to keep these. You know, retro Jordans that I had as a kid, I never keep. I just sell. I just sell them when I get them. I was able to get these early, a week early, a week before they uh, released. <clears throat> they said they were slow at shipping for some reason. The official release day on these is uh, Friday. Uh, no, actually Saturday, December 14th. I actually purchased these a week ago. And it took a while for it to come, although I requested two-day shipping. But it took a while for it to come. Yeah. Well, here you go. There's close-ups here. All right, about to close this video out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, please. All right. Check you out. Check you guys out later. Peace.